Hi everyone, this is Ken and Giselle. And welcome to our St. Patrick's Day Coffee Pot Cocktails. 2020 has been dominated by Corona this year. And many activities around St. Patrick's Day have either been canceled, postponed, or who knows. So many people have been holding their own little St. Patrick's Day parties in their own homes. And, but however, you may have an overabundance of Corona and Jameson available to you. So we thought maybe we'd do something a little bit different and create floats. This should be really good for everybody. Yeah, it should be fun. So we've started ahead and put uh, three cups of vanilla ice cream in our blender. Uh, we're gonna forego the coffee pot this, this particular episode because we're gonna make a little bit of noise. And we're gonna start off with one pint can of Guinness. Now just give it a brief second because inside there is that little nitrogen uh, capsule so we want that to kind of shoot off there a little bit. And then we're just going to pour that right over our ice cream. Alright, looks like a good start for a, chop, for a float. <laughs> and there goes the Guinness. Now what else is a, a good favorite drink uh, for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, Jameson, of course. So we're going to add a shot, maybe a shot and a half of uh, Jameson in there as well. So we got a combination of vanilla ice cream, uh, Guinness, and Jameson. Uh, our testing showed that maybe some of these flavors may be a little overpowering. So we're going to just sweeten it up just a tad with a little squirt of caramel syrup in there. Uh, by no means are you obligated to put the caramel syrup in there but we, we thought it, it enhanced the flavor a little bit. Now we're gonna add the cover before we start this off. And we're going to uh, send this up on high and we're going to basically blend All right. for a little bit, so. Bear with us for one moment, friends. Ta-da! <laughs> now before we pour, what we want to do is uh, coat the glasses with a little bit of chocolate syrup. This one. Make those glasses look pretty. And then we're going to pour our mixture, our float, into the glass. We're simmering for some fabulous whipped cream. Because what's a float without whipped cream? Exactly. Exactly. Now Giselle does a better job with the whipped cream than I do, I think. So we're going to... And I think maybe a little bit more caramel syrup. Maybe just a tad. Okay, I'm going to let you do the honors on that. So there you go. This is a Guinness Jameson float. I'm going to add a straw, of course. Of course. And give it a try. Oops. Ooh. Does that send you somewhere? To Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> For all you Guinness fans, this is pretty yummy. You wouldn't think that this would work, but it actually works pretty well. Yeah, quite tasty. Uh, so you got a you got a spare can of Guinness and some Jameson around. Throw it together with some vanilla ice cream. Give it a spin, and I think you'll have something that you'll enjoy quite a bit. <laughs> mm. What do you think? A little more? Ah, ah oh. <laughs> Tasty. All right. Well, we hope that you're going to be able to enjoy your, th your St. Patrick's Day festivities. Um, I know that we're going to give it our best shot. <laughs> now, you not smile when you see this. <laughs> enjoy, friends. Be safe out there.